August 27th, 2020, we have a mid-air collision on the upper right-hand corner. There you can see the two aircraft, one landing and one taking off in Alaska. So we're going to be going over the NTSB final report. And here you can see firefighters are on scene. There was a post-crash fire, five people involved and two fatalities so this is what happened a Cessna 185 was landing on a runway at an uncontrolled airport and a PA-18 had just taken off from the same runway when they collided mid-air both airplanes came to rest on the runway the pilot and one passenger in the Cessna 185 were fatally injured and the other passengers sustained serious injuries the pilot of the PA-18 also sustained serious injuries. The Cessna 185 was destroyed by post-impact fire. The uncontrolled airport where the collision occurred is within the Class D airspace of that Fairbanks International Airport, three miles away. All pilots arriving or departing from the uncontrolled airport are required to contact that tower at the international airport before entering the Class D airspace to ensure no conflicts with the larger airport's traffic. The air traffic control tower does not uh, issue takeoff and landing clearances for the uncontrolled airport. And the Cessna 185 and PA-18 pilots were in contact with that uh, tower before collision. So here's what the fire chief had to say about this accident. On arrival, the crews found uh, uh, two planes involved, one uh, with multiple uh, people still trapped inside, and uh, one with uh, one person who had been ejected from it. We transported... Uh, Two individuals uh, examined one on scene who refused uh, any further treatment, and then uh, there were two fatalities. So you can see the firefighters did get this fire out. Luckily, bystanders pulled out some of the people on board before the fire consumed it. About nine minutes before the accident, the Cessna 185 pilot reported to the air traffic control that he was 14 miles away and inbound to land at the uncontrolled airport. The tower instructed the pilot to report when he landed. Radar indicated that the Cessna was turning from base to final to land. The PA-18 pilot reported to air traffic that he was preparing to take off from that same runway to the north. The controller instructed him to report when airbound and advised him that the traffic was on short final, to which the PA-18 pilot responded 9-8. The controller then immediately advised the Cessna 185 pilot of the departing traffic northbound. The Cessna pilot replied that he was right over him and no further comms was received from either airplane. Post-impact exam of both airplanes did not reveal any uh, pre-impact failures or malfunctions that would preclude operation. There was slash marks found on top of the PA-18 indicating that the Cessna 185 was above and overtaking it when the collision occurred. So definitely some communication issues here and not having a tower uh, is a factor. So this is that aircraft here, a Piper Super Cub, November 7498 Lima. This was the one taking off. And then this is how it ended up. And then this was the other aircraft at Cessna 185, November 714 Kilo Hotel. And this one was landing. And this is the one that had the big fire, as you can see here. So definitely some lessons to be learned here. Here's that uh, Chenna Marina Airport. Here's Fairbanks International Airport. So the tower was here, and they're in that airspace, runway 36. As you can see, this is the Cessna 185 uh, base to final here coming in. And then this is kind of where the comms was happening. So here is the where the, the aircraft was saying that they're going to depart. And this is the Cessna coming in. And then two is where the Piper um, was uh, right there, right above each other. And this is probably where the collision occurred. Here's the wreckage and the likely area of the midair collision was here. And then here's the debris field. And this is where the two aircraft ended up. And then here NTSB had to take this aircraft and investigate it, but not much left to look at. This is the Cessna. And then here's that Piper. Firefighters did have to come and help extricate. So some of it may be the cutting of um, the firefighters. Although air traffic control advised the PA-18 pilot of traffic on final approach, the pilot later reported that he did not recall hearing it. So it is unknown why he did not hear the traffic. The Super Cub pilot reported that he looked for traffic to the north and south twice before he taxied onto the runway for takeoff. And this is the shoulder harness separated near the upper attachment point. Features consistent with a propeller cut. So the propeller came right through. Super scary. 
uh, probable cause for this one was the P-18 pilot's failure to see and avoid the Cessna 185 as it was landing above them. Contributing to the accident was the Super Cub pilot's failure to hear the traffic advisory provided by the air traffic control tower which was at another airport and some lessons is all pilots can be vulnerable to distractions in the cockpit and the presence of technology has introduced challenges to the see and avoid concept air aviation applications on these portable electronic devices like cell phones tablets handheld gps units while useful can lead to more head down time limiting a pilot's ability to see other aircraft so interesting one, sad one, um, you know, hopefully some lessons can be learned about communications and yeah, rough day for everyone all around. But thanks for watching. This is Arfalam Keone. I'll see you guys next time.